Hi, my name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler. Have you ever created a widget that allows the user to change from a light theme to a dark theme? In that case you will know what a hassle this is, having to create the relevant HTML, CSS and JS. With this video, I will show you how to use the theme changer extension. This allows you to install a component that looks like this. Selecting the drop-down, allows the user to select a theme from light, dark or auto. The auto mode will use the setting from the operation system. When I open the developer panel, under application and local storage, I see that the theme has been stored. This means that, when the user returns to the site, their preferred theme is shown. Here I have opened my project. For this, I am using Wappler version 6 beta. But, if you wish, you can also use Wappler version 5. For both versions, the beta channel has to be activated. This is so that Bootstrap 5.3 will be installed. If you do not wish to use the beta channel, make sure that you replace the Bootstrap 5.1 files with the 5.3 files. This will have no further consequence for an existing project. When you create the project, make sure to use your own server. The default Wappler local server will not work with extensions. For the template page, I have added a navigation bar from the blocks menu. And finally, I have added a heading to the content page so that we can test our project. Now for the fun part. This is to install the component and to apply it to the project. I go to the project manager and choose extensions. Here I click on the, add extensions icon. I am prompted to enter the name of the extension. For this, I go to the Wappler NPM page and copy the name of the extension. I will leave a link to this page below. Back in Wappler, I paste the extension name. Save a couple of times and the extension is included in the project. To apply the extension, I go to the template page. I select the container for the navigation items and select, insert after. Components and the theme changer. We now see that there is a problem with the colors. Bootstrap 5.3 has activated the new themes. Going to the Bootstrap documentation, under navbar, we see that Bootstrap has applied a body tertiary background color. I copy the class. In Wappler, I select the header element and scroll down to the background colors where I deselect the current setting. Then I scroll up and paste the copied class. Now for the navigation bar itself. Here I set the theme to default and deselect the background color. Lastly, the component needs to be positioned. I select the collapsible area. In the flex flow section, I choose, space between. And we are ready for testing. I suppose I could have tested the project in a browser. But Wappler does such a good job, that I decided on using this great product. As you can see, with a few simple steps we have a perfectly functioning widget. If you like this video, please say so below. Also do not forget to subscribe to this channel and visit the Wappler community. The link is below. Thank you for watching.